Hello, I'm Pastor Keith here, and it's morning prayer for Tuesday, December 13th, 2022, coming to you from Christ Lutheran Church in Mililani Town on the island of Oahu, state of Hawaii. The reading for today is uh, from Acts 5, starting with the 12th verse, and uh, is a story of healings. Now, many signs and wonders were done among the people through the apostles. They were all together in Solomon's portico. None of the rest dared to join them, but the people held them in high esteem. Yet more than ever, believers were added to the Lord. Great numbers of both men and women, so that they even carried out the sick into the streets and laid them on cots and mats in order that Peter's shadow might fall on some of them as he came by. A great number of people would also gather from the towns around Jerusalem, bringing the sick and those tormented by unclean spirits. And they were all cured. The word of the Lord. Until recently, medicine, healing, and religion were all intricately tied together. Not until the late 1800s and the early 1900s did uh, scientific uh, medical principles really take hold. Gift from God, medicine. Public health, a gift from God. Religion, a gift from God. Deeply intertwined in the narratives we read, right? But sometimes they get to sounding almost a little magical, like Peter's shadow falling on some people and they're cured. The point isn't the magic. The point is that the Lord, the word of the Lord, heals, whether it's through science or public health or spirituality or, in many cases, a strange combination of all of them. So, go get your flu shot. Get vaxxed, boosted if you have to. It's okay. That's God's way of helping us, curing us, keeping us going. Yeah, okay, I'll just let it set at that. E pule kako, let us pray for those who are sick. Almighty and merciful God, you are the only source of health and healing. You alone can bring calmness and peace. Grant to us, your children, an awareness of your presence and a strong confidence in you. In our pain, our weariness, and our anxiety, surround us with your care. Protect us by your loving might. And permit us once more to enjoy health and strength and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. And now, may Almighty God, who is a strong tower to all, to whom all things in heaven and on earth bow, obey, be now and evermore your sure defense, and help you to know that the name given to us for health and salvation is the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs>